Hello everyone, welcome to lesson number 15. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to manipulate algebraic fractions. Okay, so now this lesson is suitable for grade 10 learners, new curriculum, grade 11 learners, new curriculum, and also grade 12 extended learners, old curriculum. Now, what does it mean to manipulate algebraic fractions? You are going to learn how to add subtract multiply and divide algebraic fractions okay so once you have mastered this objective you are just gonna cruise when you start solving algebraic equations okay the one with fractions all right you're just gonna cruise now before we do this i just want to take you back to grade eight and nine now i want to do this together three over four plus one over five Let's write this as a single fraction. If you can remember how to do this, you are not going to struggle with that, okay? Now, for us to add these two fractions, we need to use... We need to use the lowest common multiple of the denominator, so we need to find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 5, which is none other than 20, alright? So, we need to make the, this denominator 20, we need to make this one 20 as well. So we need to multiply by 5 over 5, we multiply this one by 5, sorry, by 4 over 5, no, by 4 over 4, sorry for that, okay? So we are doing that because we want to get a 20 here, we want to get a 20 here. Now let's do this. 15 over 20, 5 times 3 is 15, 4 times, 5 times 4 is 20. Then plus 1 times 4, we give us a 4. And 5 times 4 give us a 20. So now that the denominators are the same, all we need to do is to add the numerator. So 15 plus 4 over 20. So that should give us 19 over 20. So this is the final answer from two fractions to just one fraction. So if you can remember this, then you're just going to cruise when you start doing now the algebra work. Okay, let's do this. Let us look at the first example. So let's say you are given something like this. You are given 2x plus 1 over 4 plus x minus 1 over 3. And the instruction is write this as two fraction or as a single fraction. So now, as you can see, this this is unknown and that is unknown that's why we're calling them algebraic fraction so there's an expression on top there's an expression on top here so that's why we're calling them algebraic fractions the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3 is none other than 12 so that means we need to multiply this by 4 over 4 we multiply this by 3 over 3 so let's move to the next step so that will be 3 open bracket 2x plus 1 over 12 plus 4 open bracket x minus 1 over 12. Very important, you are multiplying the whole number with an expression, put it in brackets. Multiplying an expression with the whole number, put the expression in brackets. So in the next line, we are going to remove the brackets on top. So 3 times 2x will give us 6x, 3 times 1 will give us 3 over 12, plus 4 times x will give us 4x, 4 times negative 1 will give us negative 4 over 12. Okay, so now what we need to do is just concentrate on the numerators. Everything should be over 12. So we have 6x plus 3 plus 4 minus 4. Like terms, 6x and 4x are like terms. That will give us 10x, 3 minus 4 will give us minus 1 over 12. And that's the answer. Okay, so that's the final answer. So from having two fractions to just one fraction. Okay, all right, let's move on to the second example before I give you something to practice. All right, example number two. So let's say you are given something like this x my plus four, sorry, x plus four over five plus 2x minus 1 over 3. Okay, so again here, we need to figure out the 
lowest common multiple of 5 and 3, which is 15. The quicker way to get the lowest common multiple is just multiply the two numbers. So 3 times 5 to give us 15. So I'll multiply this by 5 over 5. I'll multiply this by 3 over 3. So 3, open bracket, x plus 4, close the bracket, 15 plus 5, 2x minus 1 in the bracket. See that? Same denominators. That is what we want. So let us remove the brackets on top. 3x plus 12. 3 times x, 3x, 3 times 4, 12, that will give us 3x plus 12 over 15 plus 5 times 2x, that is 10x, 5 times 1, minus 5 over 15. So what we need to do now is to write everything with one denominator. Here we go. Let me say 3x plus 12 plus 10x minus 5. These two guys are like 10, so they'll give us 13x. And then 12 take away 5, that should give us 7 over 15. See, from two fractions to just one fraction. Okay? So now, uh, in the next video, I'm going to look at... Um, fractions when this is a negative okay and also when the expressions are now the denominators okay that will be in our next video so i want you to practice on these two please take your video or i mean um write down your answers take pictures and share with me on whatsapp okay so the first one i want you to do this you have 4x plus 2 over 5 plus the first one um, come on 2x plus 3 over 6 and number 2 I want you to try this out 2p plus 3 over 7 plus uh, P minus 2 over 14. Hmm. Alright, so let's practice that. Please take pictures of your answers and share with me all the ones. Thank you for watching and see you in lesson number 16. Bye bye.